In this video, I'm going to go over some of the functionality provided by Vim Pandoc, which is a plugin which allows you to use some of the Pandoc commands from inside Vim, which is sometimes convenient, um, at least for simple files like Markdown files, um, converting them into different file formats, maybe Microsoft Word or HTML um, or LaTeX and so on. So to, to get some sense of this, I'm going to, I'm not going to worry about this LaTeX file, which is a um, fairly complicated document and, and does not easily convert, at least the way I have it set up. Um, I've, I've written a, a macro in here and th there's a bunch of stuff in here that makes it uh, not run very smoothly with Pandoc. So instead I'm going to focus on this fairly simple to-do list I have, um, which I've written inside Markdown. And so to, to say we want to convert this into Microsoft Word, um, so I have it under which key? So capital P for Pandoc. Um, and then I have a few different file formats specified. So I have HTML, LaTeX, um, Markdown. Of course, this is already a Markdown file, so we don't need to convert it to the same file format, which it already is, and Microsoft Word. So let's do W for Microsoft Word. Um, and it's just asking me, you know, is this where it's telling me where it's looking for my um, bibliography? I don't have any citations in here, so it's not a big deal. But um, I'm going to hit enter, and it says it ran successfully. So let's do space E to open the Explorer. And okay, so it spit out this to do dot docx. And so we can open this. Um, I mean, if I were to hit enter here, then it would attempt to enter to open you know the the docx is, is not a text file so it's not gonna it's not gonna be very pretty um but instead we can do um shift x which opens it with the the system the, whatever the default is um and and so yeah here is uh libra office and it looks okay um a little bit rough but um but nevertheless it gets it gets the basic point across um Okay, let's uh, let's quit out of here. Um, so just to compare, let's look at what the Markdown file looks like when we build it. So space M, and then we can do M for toggle, um, and it will. Um, oh, I need to do that again. Yeah, and so it will build this Markdown file, and you know I think this looks quite a bit better, um, which makes sense um and yeah you know has these little tick boxes and so on which you know so, sort of rendered um in LibreOffice, but but yeah not not quite as clean so anyways that's a little bit how to um convert at least markdown into um into a microsoft word file let's now take a look let's go into just a new window and have the terminal open here so i've i'm already in the same project folder and let's use Pandoc just in the terminal um, as it was originally designed to convert um, that that doc file into another file format. So I, I think I already have it in here. No, not that one. Um, yeah, here, let's do this one. So Pandoc, um, maybe it's actually worth beginning by just seeing what's in here. So, um, so we have the original to do dot markdown file and then we have this new to do dot docx file okay so now let's um, so we're going to run pandoc we're using this flag dash s for single output um, and so what that's going to do is it's going to give us a nice preamble um, which will allow us to build the the um the tech document um, and then we're going to say which file we're sourcing so this to do dot docx and then I'm putting this flag, so dash T, saying which file format to send it to. So it knows that given this extension, this is a Word file. And I'm just specifying, you don't always need to do this, but um, I'm specifying that it is a LaTeX file that we want it to spit out. And then we're using this dash O as an output flag, and we're saying um, this is the file that I want it to spit out. Okay, let's run that. And let's... Um, ls again and so now we see that we now have this td.tech which is what I asked it to make and so we can open that up um, okay and there's our LaTeX file let's see what it looks like space b 
for build and okay and there's there it is so again it's a little bit rougher looking than um than the markdown file that you know that what, what it spits out but um but not bad uh, it looks pretty good it gets the basic point across you got bullet points you got dashes all the indenting is correct um so yeah not too bad so so that is um so that is a little bit so notice here we have this whole preamble um and then we have begin document and then this stuff this is the the beginning of the document okay so um let's quit out of this so just let's also remove this file and um i'm going to run that same thing but i'm going to get rid of this dash s flag okay and let's ls okay so we still get a td.tech file which is what we wanted um, so let's open this now so notice it's basically the same thing but there's no preamble and so if i were to try to build this it's not going to let me it says compilation failed um, so sometimes that might be convenient. You don't want to have to necessarily have to avoid the preamble if you're just going to cut and paste this into another LaTeX document. Um, so those are some options. Um, so yeah, let's quit out of this. And um, instead of removing it that way, let's, I'm going to switch back to this project folder. And there's a bunch of stuff for me to remove. And I find it pretty convenient to do it this way. So I'll, when I ran this tech document, um, this td.tech, it generated all these auxiliary files, so I need to get rid of all those now because I don't really want those in here. Um, so I can just do D and yes. Yeah, so Y, so D Y. Um, and I can get rid of this doc file now too because I don't need that either. So so that gives you some of the basic functionality um, using Pandoc, both inside Vim via the Vim Pandoc plugin, as well as inside the terminal. Um, just using the um, the standard pandoc commands, which you can find um, a lot of documentation on the pandoc website, and um, along with a bunch of examples and and so on. So, so hopefully that uh, that helps to provide some information how to use pandoc. Uh, it's worth mentioning that um, let's open up NeoVim here. Um, it's worth mentioning that. Um, if I go into config, so two here, so let's actually go, so I've sourced this pandoc.vim file, um, and all that is is it provides a few presets, which I've included, so um, I don't like folding, and it says that, well, I'm, I'm really focused on using pandoc for markdown, so I specified that file type, um, and just a few other settings, so anyways, good to, good to know where all of this is.